This is uh, the second, I do say second because, uh, what, two weeks ago there was a U-Haul in, in, at my house that was full of games. This is the second U-Haul that is now full of games. Um, a lot of newer stuff in this one, but there is still some Nintendo and Super Nintendo uh, and a few other older consoles, older systems mixed in. But lots of, like, Wii U, uh, PS4, you know, current gen, that kind of stuff. Um, we're gonna go ahead and get started on bringing all this into the house. I look like I have a severed, my severed head is in the pile of <laughs> games. If you're wondering why two truckloads of video games have been dropped off at my house now, I explain what's going on uh, in the first video I filmed regarding all of this. The link to that is in the about section down below. Check that out after you watch this video. Um, but the short version is a friend of mine is moving very far away and uh, he is getting rid of most of his personal possessions, a lot of that being video game related. And over the course of a long time, probably, I'm going to be selling off um, most of his collection, some of it I'm going to keep for myself, obviously, but the rest of it will be sold off, uh, like on consignment. That is essentially what's going on. It took about an hour and a half to unload the truck, but, uh, it's split into two big piles. This one, which is in the kitchen, I need to get it cleaned up before Katie wakes up and sees the massive disaster. And then the other pile is in the game room, starting right here, and then goes all the way back down this row. So all of this stuff is new. Way over there, that is all of the, like the first uh, shipment of stuff that came in the first U-Haul. So all of this is, is new and then stuff in the kitchen. Tons of boxed systems came in this second load. We got Genesis, Mario Party 7, GameCube Bundle, Super Nintendo Mini, lots of 360s. There's like one, two, three, four, five. Five, there's six of them just in the kitchen, some from different parts of the world, other regions. There were thousands, maybe even tens of thousands of Magic the Gathering cards that came in the first truckload. This is only a little bit of what came, but apparently he had a lot more. There's this whole box full, and then this bin right here is completely full, and then so is the one down below it. These are pretty damn cool. Uh, it's the Halo 3 limited edition controllers that come with like the Todd McFarlane figurine. Uh, I have this one, but I do not have the Covenant controller. I've actually been looking for this for a really long time, and it's sealed, brand new. It's awesome. This is a box that I have been looking for. Uh, it has some just empty NES boxes on top, but there's some really good loose cards in here, like Die Hard, Gargoyles Quest 2, Scat, Kid Clown. Metal Storm. I'll go through this box in a little more detail uh, later in the video. This box had some cool promo items in it. Uh, some styluses for like Pokemon Diamond and Pearl. Had this cool uh, Statue of Happiness from uh, Grand Theft Auto. And these, these aren't promo items, uh, but they're pretty cool. They're Master Chief like bobbleheads and this one was a uh, FYE and Suncoast exclusive. Here's another box mainly full of NES and Super Nintendo carts, but there's also a sealed Shaq Fu in there with, with the wrap CD still inside that's so amazing. <laughs> but uh, some of the Super Nintendo carts, Mario World, R-Type, F-Zero. The issue I'm having now is obviously space and not having enough room to really organize it all. Uh, the stuff in that back corner over there is items that I got in the first truckload. It's all separated. I know it's in those boxes. This is just complete randomness, some box systems and uh, pieces of things, like cables and stuff. And then this aisle is also a mess. Just uh, some of the stuff uh, in this aisle I want to keep, or I still need to go through and like see if there's like manuals missing out of certain games or whatever, but it's everywhere. Games everywhere. It has been a week now since the second truck came and filled my house again with video games. Um, when the first truckload was dropped off, it took me 11 days to go through that, so I'm doing better this time. I still have like four more bins to go through that are all cables, controllers, systems. It's going to take a while to untangle all that and kind of piece things together, but um, I'm making good progress. This has been... 50% amazing, 50% insanity. Um, obviously, as I've been showing, my house uh, has been destroyed temporarily. I, I am definitely in the process of trying to get it all organized as much as I can, put into the game room. I have a guest coming and staying with me. I have Alpha Mega Sin is going to be coming and staying, and right now he wouldn't be real, really able to uh, sleep in here because there's just boxes and games all around me. So I have uh, still a lot of work ahead, um, but... It's 
like I said, it's it's half and half. Um, it's more than I ever thought I would ever have to take on in, in one sitting, but at the same time, there's been some amazing things that I'm going to add to my collection. Just It's been fun. It's been like Christmas for, <laughs> for the last almost month now. Um, that uh, I'm going to show you now some random things that were uh, some of the highlights that came from the second load. The box that had like Metal Storm, Die Hard, I got to talk quieter because my my little sleepy kitty up here. She's so sleepy. Um, that box that had those really good NES carts in it. I said I was going to show you some more games. Um, NES game stuff. There were a few other good ones in that box, but then there was a couple other like smaller boxes that had some good items in it. We have like a complete box Power Punch 2 with, what do they call this guy? Uh, Mark Tyler on the cover. You know, not Mike Tyson. They couldn't use that anymore. Mark Tyler fighting robots and aliens. Um, I think this might be complete. The Ultimate Stuntman and the um, uh, Codemaster games, the unlicensed games. The Bugs Bunny Birthday Blowout. It has been really hard for me to find a good condition cart alone for this game, so to find it complete in box was really nice. It's just one of the ones I always come across that the cart is like really uh, brown, like has that weird stain to it, um, or the label's peeled up. We have Mad Max complete in box. Box in really nice shape, just a few like bits of sticker residue that I gotta clean off. And then Worm, unfortunately the front of this box sort of had like some moisture damage or something, so it's a little wrinkly, um, but besides that, it's good. My friend that I got all this stuff from was really into collecting import games. Um, he had a very large collection of Japanese 316, like original Xbox games, some stuff that never uh, came out in the States, other things like Halo and Far Cry and stuff he had the Japanese versions for. Um, then he also had a really large uh, collection of PAL Dreamcast games, pretty much every good title. Um, two of the highlights from that, a complete uh, copy of Shinmu 2, that'll be going into my collection, I did not have that. And then uh, I had this on the PS2, the PAL version, but Evil Twin on the Dreamcast, another one that I didn't have, so I'm going to keep that one. And then, this is another Powell one, Michigan Report from Hell. I've never heard about this game. <laughs> it's very unique. Uh, you play the cameraman and you follow around, you're on a, a news team. The news team is called uh, Zaka TV. And uh, you're basically going around filming and reporting on crazy things, monsters and tragedy and all types of weird stuff. And um, it's very unique. Definitely an interesting title. Check that one out if you... Uh, <laughs> happen to ever see that one definitely pick it up it's uh, become a lot more um, desirable these days I think I got my copy probably about five years ago and it wasn't that expensive but I know that one's gone up in price I'm not sure how much it's going for these days uh, and then a few uh, Famicom carts we have Devil World complete in the box and then these are really interesting 8-bit uh, music power not one but two of them they're both brand new so uh, some newer 8-bit music on a Famicom cart and then some more uh, Dreamcast related stuff. These are American releases. Uh, these were some of the better ones he had. Uh, Time Stalkers, Evolution 2, that's a really good one. Giga Wing 2, Gauntlet Legends, can never go wrong with Gauntlet. Uh, Seventh Cross Evolution, Incoming, another really great one, Cannon Spike, and then like Crazy Taxi 2 and Confidential Mission. He had a ton of Dreamcast stuff. This is just a small stack that I grabbed. Uh, and we'll stick with uh, a, the Sega theme right now. I have never come across this ever. <laughs> it is, especially in the box. It's the Sega Saturn Netlink. And uh, the box is in really nice shape. And then this going along with it, the uh, Sega Saturn Netlink keyboard adapter. This is brand new. Just some like of the oddity accessories that he had in his collection. I got excited when I saw this because I'm a big Turbo Graphics fan. It is the Turbo Graphics 16 and Turbo Express Secrets book. And when I first saw it, I was like, oh, it's probably unauthorized because it looks just like the uh, Super Nintendo guide that's unauthorized for some of those games. But then I was like, oh no, it actually is the authorized book. And even says that on the back, at last, the authorized edition. The last thing I'm going to show you guys is actually a system that came out a few years back. And uh, at least in my area, it wasn't readily available on store shelves. You had to like put an order or a pre-order in for it. And that is 
the Neo Geo X console, and this is actually brand new. It's never been opened, still has like seals right there. And if you don't know what this is, it's the Neo Geo X station, the handheld system, and the arcade stick. And then this limited edition bundle comes with the Ninja Masters physical game. And there are 20 games preloaded onto the system. Really cool bundle. Um, and it's in like fantastic shape. And it's something else, like I said, I don't have in my collection. So I might be hanging on to that as well. There's a lot of things in this uh, collection that I'm like, ooh, I kind of want that. Um, thank you all for watching. Please give the video a thumbs up and leave a comment down below. Let me know, you know, what you saw that you thought was really cool. I will be, um, at Retropalooza in Dallas, Texas coming up soon, uh, just in a couple weeks. I've disturbed her too much. Um, and a lot of this stuff will most likely be there for sale or trade, so come on out there. Or if you're at the, uh, Wagon Wheel Flea Market near, uh, Tampa, Florida, you can come out there on, uh, the weekends. Thank you all for watching. Love you. Peace!